What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's gonna be a little bit different. I wanna show you guys how to easily clean a nice Florida Keys mutton snapper. Big shout out to my buddy Chad Gone Fishing for letting me get this nice mutton snapper he just caught this weekend. Off a bridge, this out guys. Look at this beautiful Florida Keys mutton snapper guys. Man, what a beauty. If you wanna see how my buddy Chad caught this off a bridge, please go ahead and check him out at Chad Gone Fishing on YouTube, trust me. You won't be disappointed. All right, first and foremost, you're gonna want yourself, get yourself a nice sharp knife, okay? After you get yourself a nice sharp knife, pull this fin up, feel where the, where the meat stops right here on the head. Don't go straight this way, because then you're gonna be going against the scales. It's gonna dull your knife. You're gonna go like this here. Take your scales off, turn your knife. You want to go ahead right up against the spines and just go straight ahead. Nice and easy. Take any scales off. Lift up your meat a little bit and just feel right on top of the spine. Lift up a little bit. Nice and easy. That's the sound you want to hear there, guys. It's the sound you want to hear right there. Once you hit the spine, make sure to go around the top of it. Right here, you're gonna feel these little, these little rib bones here. Angle your, your knife up a little bit, break those off, and like that, you can go right, right along the, uh, the rib cage. Uh, you don't miss none of that good meat right there. And right there, Got yourself a beautiful fillet with no rib bones on there. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Feel right here where the meat stops right here on top of the head. Go at an angle. Right there, feel the top of the head. Turn your knife around and just go along the spine just like this, guys. I am no professional to say the least, but I practice pretty much all the time and I go nice and easy. I'm in no rush. And I try to get as much meat as I possibly can here, guys. So same, same concept, lift it up a little bit. Feel those rib bones right there. Lift up the meat. Go up around. Again, there's a pin bones right here. Separate them. Nice little Florida Keys. My sniper, guys. Real quick and easy. I mean, you can keep that head and make a, make some, uh, I don't know, fish head soup and, or make a stock for, I don't know, maybe a, you know, some kind of soup or, or if you wanna make some rice with some uh, fish stock in it, would be a good choice to go ahead and boil that head, take the meat out and make yourself your soup, guys. And once you have your nice table ready, nice cleaned up, knife cleaned up, let's go back at it and now let's go ahead and skin this, uh, this nice mutton snapper filet. Let's go for it. And the pick right here, make sure you get a little piece right here, hold it. And just slide your knife right through it. All the way to the end. Now you got the bad stuff out, which actually you could probably do a, um, the mine snapper on a half shell on the grill and it comes out amazing, man, trust me. I'm gonna make a video on that coming soon. All right, so once you have your fish nice and clean, feel here for the rib bones. Take it 
take that out. And just like that, guys, you have a beautiful mine snapper fillet, man. No bones in it, no skin, no scales. Let's do the next one. Quick and easy, same thing. Get a little piece right here so you can hold on. And just bring your knife all the way through. Gone. Let's go ahead and take out uh, little pin bones in the middle. Right there, right here. Get the middle piece out. Just like that, guys. Beautiful. Florida Keys Mind Snapper. Caught from a bridge. All right, guys, and that's how easy you can fillet your mind snapper yourself, man. Fresh caught from the Florida Keys by my boy, Chad Gone Fishing. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. We are going to eat good tonight. Like, subscribe, and until next time, keep them lines tight.